Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to configure mock server without um, without writing any code. I will use the Easy UI5 um, generator, and you know that mock server is very important. And SAP also recommend to use the mock server uh, because, for example, you want to develop a SAP UI5 application, but you don't have any real server access so you should not wait when you will get the real server access then you can start work right so uh, mock server concept is like that you can um, start your applications and you can use your mock server as a real server and once you get the data the data and the mock server ex real server access then you can just change the connection and connect to the real server so that is the reason if you if your uh, applications is run properly on the mock server then you are sure that it will be run in the uh, real server so let's start how you can uh, configure the mock server so here i will show you uh, from the very beginning and i will use the easy ui5 that is also another um, generator and as we recommend to use it uh, so that it will save you a lot of time so here i'm just new terminal projects where is my all project so why you I also I have another video where I describe about that all is the UI5 so you can see if you don't know so now I select the easy UI5 enter and then project then app okay so what is the name of the project it can be just um, like um, for example it's um, uh, like test and so project name will be the mock test mock dot test so execute enter it should be the static server xml okay so um, if you don't know how to use the SAP easy ui5 there is another video you can see um, uh, but now today I will focus only how you can create a mock server okay so let it be done it will take a little bit time so now you can see that um, the project has been created so cd okay so now now we are in the mock test so just good okay it will open okay so our project is ready so let me just okay so now you can see that everything is here is generated everything for this project so now we have to start this or view terminal so for touch uh, starting that project i have to just execute npm start so you can see that it is started and basically it is um, if we change like title okay I just changed the title so now you can see that it is running but actually it is not running from the mock server so we have to change the configurations so here um, I'm just copying a folder inside that web app 
you need to just paste on folder that is called the local service and from this local service you can see that that is a mock data this data also that is like sample data you can download from the sap official website or you can download the full project github i will show you the link and that is just sample data and that is also the metadata so basically you need this sample data and another that is the mock server file you need this and after uh, after just um, copying you need to change here that your uh, location here it is the av but your location or application path is the mock then test basically that is your look main uh, root directory so this is done you don't need to do anything here so now actually you have to go to the uh, web app and that is another copy so here you need to paste another folder another file sorry so so that is init mock server that is the initial path for that mock server that is the same way you have to change the location for your it is the mock then test so here no need to change anything now um you can see that i have changed the i have just paste the local folder and the mock data json data and that is the metadata and that's the mock server and mock server i just changed the path for your case you may be different path so that you will change that so uh, this is done but now we have to change the connection of the data so for that connection um, you need to go to the manifest so in that manifest here you inside that version inside that SAP app then version you need to just paste a data source so here okay so basically that is the data source it will come from that local server and that metadata um, this is it just a metadata and you know that um, after source you also need a uh, configure the model so this model you need to just if you go to the model part you can see that is the, on another model so just control V so basically that is no name is there so that means that it is the default model so now actually it should start from the mock server so actually now you can see that it is look located to the index so here you need to change you need to redirect to your new mock server so how you can do this uh, before doing that you can take a copy of your actual and you can make a mock server but i'm just uh, directly changing here so from here you can see that it, it is connecting to the actual mock actual server so here what i will do just remove this and here um, that is the name of that uh, mock test so here it just mock then test then actually that 
und server so basically from here you can also copy and paste um, but you need to just replace the replace with the slash so, so basically, basically now actually I am uh, locating my index that initialize mock server and from here you can just um, it will configure everything so now actually if we refresh it will not change anything because now actually you can see you can see that is already changed in the index it will already change to the mock server here it is the mock server so if I uh, press on then you can see it is not working because actually it is not getting the initial and mock server so now your mock server is ready now you need to show some data uh, from the metadata this data from the employee information so actually now this space is running by default that main view so in that main view i will add some good so if i just contain here some content basically this data is coming from that uh, mocks, um, from that metadata or that uh, this test data so now you can see that everything is like index is fine but actually it is collecting data from the test data and now your mock server is ready so um, yeah I also directly change the index HTML so that is the reason um, if you change like your local then you can if you take a copy then you can start again this so um, uh, that's all um, thank you so much